Hi, I'm Mick Garris and welcome to Trailers from Hell. Today's trailer is for my absolute favorite Roger Corman movie from 1963, uh, X, The Man with the X-Ray Eyes. Not many movies called The Man with X-Ray Eyes or something like that touts the Academy Award winning lead actor. Uh, Ray Milland had won in 1945 for The Lost Weekend and at this point in his career he was not getting the same kind of role. He was getting this, later on he did Frogs, which is another timeless classic. Uh, he was born in 1905, his real name was Reginald Alfred Truscott Jones, so Ray Milland may have been a good choice. Um, it's an extremely intelligent genre film, much more so particularly than others of its era. Ray Russell was the, was the writer, the screenwriter, and he had been a very well-regarded fiction writer. He wrote a William Castle movie called Zots, and he also did one of the Poe movies, he did Premature Burial. This movie's very much of its time and place. Here they're trying to sell the sex of, you know, if you had X-ray vision, like the X-ray specs would give you on the back of comic books, you'd see naked women doing the twist at parties, you know, see through their clothes, you see the bones through your hand, things like that. And this movie plays on that. That's what got you into the theater, but it's a really smart film that goes into religious allegory and everything in a way that no movies did at that time. I mean, it has the revival meetings and the like, and a really downbeat ending where, Ray Milland actually plucks his eyes out of his head. Uh, it's rumored that there was uh, additional footage to that, that after he plucks his eyes out, he cries out, I can still see! Corman says that that happened, but I, I still don't believe that it really was shot that way. At any rate, it was released without that. I mean, the good news is also that Ray Milland, who was a terrific actor, gives a really terrific committed performance here. It doesn't feel like he's playing down to it because it's a horror movie or, or a low-budget film. Uh, but in addition to that, the big surprise is it's an early acting role for Don Rickles, who is a terrific dramatic performer. You know, he gives a really passionate kind of abrasive character role and I think this is one of his best performances it's really good so a very well acted very unusual intelligent uh, genre film from a period that was often devoid of such mm -hmm.